what do I do when it's time to pay? You know, like, um, what if they pay cash? What if I don't know, you know, how much money to give them back? You don't need to. You don't need to. That's how you use a till as a pro. That's just how you use a till in general. And that's how you use a till without any experience. You don't need any experience. What experience do you need? experience you get it from starting somewhere and you can start right now you can start right now as a cash as a cashier on a register even if you don't know how to use a till because i got you i'm here for y'all i've dropped so many videos helping y'all do this you guys got this and they're gonna train you at the end of the day however they want you to be working so at the end of the day like you guys are gonna be more than fine okay i promise you guys you're gonna be more than fine hi my loves welcome back to another banging video and if you're new here welcome to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be talking to you guys on how to use a cash register like a pro um i think i did a video similar to this one a while back so this is going to be like part two um and this one's going to consist of those who are wondering how to do this without any experience and truth be told you just really don't need any and i'm going to break it down for you guys and explain how that can be so and just simply what the job entails and stuff so that you guys feel confident enough that you guys will be able to do this job um here on my channel i do a lot of videos to simply like help just in general um like getting a job or buying a car or just like doing things that we need to know how to do on our day-to-day -day. so make sure you check out some of those other videos because they're up on my channel um but yeah in this specific one we're just going to be talking about the cash register and how to do this without any experience so before we get started don't forget to like comment and subscribe because we're on our road to 10k let's get it but yeah let's just jump straight into it so like i said you really don't need any experience to be a cashier okay um don't feel like oh I, you know i can't apply because i haven't worked somewhere else because at the end of the day you need to start somewhere okay so the first thing i can tell you guys is just apply apply everywhere and um when you get hired to be a cashier know that you don't need any prior experience and they're going to train you to be the type of cashier that they need you to be okay so it's really not a hard job okay and as long as you put your mind to it you're gonna be good so if you have no experience and you've never been on a cash register before and boom you got hired they put you you know in your own register and you're nervous i've said it before those nerves <laughs> zero put them at zero okay y'all cannot be having this many nerves um yeah you're gonna mess up if you do so the nerves need to go out the window drink your water relax bring a jacket do whatever you need to do to relax your nerves because every single person is different but if you're nervous and i'm a very nervous person okay so like i said every person kind of knows how to um get rid of their nerves or at least a little bit do what you need to do but if you allow yourself to stay nervous yeah you might mess up and like the other thing is that it's okay to mess up but um so the first thing like first and foremost that you're gonna do in a cash register like i said they're gonna train you on to how they need you to work on this register so really should be no issue the fact of oh i don't have experience oh i'm nervous oh this and that they're gonna train you they're gonna teach you but essentially what you do is somebody's gonna come in your line okay someone comes through your line they are buying five cans of tomato sauce a box of pasta some cheese whatever every item at a store has a barcode and you're just swiping that barcode with basically the scanner that the register provides you with. So the scanner is just there. So you just have to like scan the item. If this is the item and the barcode was back here, you just scan it like this to make sure that the scanner that you have and the barcode match. And, you know, you hear that little like beep sign. OK, once you hear that little beep, you kind of like throw it to the side because that's going to be the side where you're going to have to bag all those groceries at the end but you want to like scan everything first right scan throw scan throw scan throw scan throw okay once you finish scan throwing and you see that the grand total because as you're scanning each item an item can be two dollars an item can be ten dollars but the system is doing all the calculations for you okay so it's like 10 plus 12 plus 1 plus 5 you know it's calculating all the money that every single item cost and it gives you the big total of like the grand total of maybe 200 dollars let's say right so you're gonna tell the pay uh the customer okay it's 200 dollars 
while they figure out how they're gonna pay you start bagging the groceries okay you start putting the milk in, in a bag the eggs in a bag bread in a bag whatever <sighs> um this is the biggest part i feel like people are like what do i do when it's time to pay you know like um what if they pay cash what if i don't know you know how much money to give them back you don't need to you don't need to legitimately the total could have been ten dollars and they give you five and like most people would know that you got to give them five in return but the system's gonna tell you so you're gonna be a-okay honey a-okay you're gonna be good um basically i think the easiest way honestly is when they pay card or apple pay you're like okay your total is two hundred dollars let's say you click the pay button and then they either insert their card or apple pay and it's done for and i feel like it's just quick and easy and efficient and i I like it. I also feel like me, especially now as a pharmacy tech and knowing how much germs exist and how like hard it is to treat it. I don't like to touch other people's money. So like it's not even that I wouldn't know how to do the calculation because I do, but I just don't like touching other people's money. So I personally prefer when people pay with card and things like that. You're going to get um, a few case scenarios where people are going to pay with cash though. And I feel like this is the part people freak out. People are like, oh my God, they're going to give me cash. What do I do if they give me cash? You know, like Patricia, I'm fine with a card, but what if they give me the cash? Honey, if they give you the cash, it's simple as one, two, three, okay? If they give you the cash, what do you do if I were to give you cash right now? You're going to pocket it, right? So if they give you the cash, no, you can't pocket it because it's not them giving it directly to you. They're giving it basically to the company that you work for. So you're going to pocket it but you know in the register from the company that you work for so as soon as you get the money you put it in the register okay um in order for that register to open you have to basically put it in the little computer screen so let's say the total was two hundred dollars let's say they give you three hundred dollars and the system you just put three hundred dollars the system's gonna be like okay that's the number like the number you put in after the grand total comes up on the screen the system knows that that's a total that the customer is giving you. So if you put 300 and the system said it was 200, they know that they got to basically do that subtraction to tell you that what you need to give back to the customer is $100, okay? So you put $300 or whatever the amount is that they gave you and the system does a calculation on how much you have to give them back. Once that's so, the register opens. The register is associated to the computer system, okay? They correlate like one with another. So the register isn't ever going to open if that system isn't open or you're not working on that computer screen. You know what I'm saying? The only way that it would open is if there was a key and stuff and like that's not something you guys do. That's not even something I do. So the only way it would open is with the system computer, the computer system. So it like they correlate one with another. So um whatever amount like i said the customer gives you is what you put on the computer screen and that's what opens your till okay so don't freak out your till is not just going to open randomly your till is not just going to open as soon as the total of 200 dollars pops up you have to physically input in the system okay they gave me this amount and then the system does the calculation opens the till and the till is where you basically grab your money um you're gonna grab as much change as the system tells you if they say it's a hundred dollars back it's really up to you then how you want to like pick up the money if you want to give them a flat hundred dollar bill if you want to give them um ten um different ten dollar bills a hundred ones like obviously probably the big bills are easier don't give a hundred ones but it's really up to you on how you're gonna give um like the change okay you know the amount but it's up to you on how you want to do that so if you're like oh i don't know how many 20s make a hundred just give them a big hundred dollar bill like you know what i'm saying like it's okay if you don't know math because there are easier ways around it okay so don't freak out don't be like oh my gosh i don't know what i'm doing like you're gonna be good because the system's gonna tell you and really after that then it's up to you or you can even ask them how would you like this change and they might tell you give me a 20 give me a this give me a that and then you can calculate it all to make sure that you won't you're only giving them a hundred dollars because you don't want to pass over that hundred or go less you know so sometimes i i personally believe it's a little bit more complicated when you start asking them oh what would you like what would you you know what i'm saying because you're gonna get oh give me the ones oh wait no give me the tens oh can i get a 120 and one this and it's too much and then you got you got to count it to make sure that like you're not giving them too much or too little so personally me i just if i see what my change is i look huh 
I'm running low on one, so let me not touch that because I'm going to need that for later. Let me just give them a bigger bill or vice versa. Things like that. So it's really like up to your discretion. So don't feel like, you know, oh my God, oh my God, like I won't know what to do. Honey, using a till is just not hard. It's not hard. They're going to train you. They're going to tell you how to use it. There's a lot of videos here on my channel that tell y'all how to use it as well. And really, it's just so simple. Like in terms of till and register, everybody's just nervous about the same thing. What if they give me cash? I don't know how to do math. How do I calculate the change? Honey, the change is going to be calculated for you. What are you going to do with the cash? The same thing you're going to do if I were to give you cash. You're going to pocket it, but not in, you know, obviously if you're working, it's not going to, you're not going to pocket it for yourself. You're going to pocket it for your company. Okay. Um, cause then I don't want y'all to be like, oh, but you just told me to pocket it. Like honey, pocket it for the company you're working at. Okay. If I were to give you money, I'm giving it directly to you. You can pocket it. But if they're giving you money, but you're working at a company, they're giving the company money. You need to pocket it for the company and put it in the till. Okay. So it's very simple and then the computer does the rest you give them the change there's going to be a slot for the ones fives tens twenties and hundreds and there's also going to be the same thing for the coins you're going to have your pennies nickels dimes quarters so it's going to you know obviously putting it in a more complicated situation if the change was a hundred dollars and 25 cents it's up to you again if you want to give them just a quarter or if you want to give them two dimes and a nickel you know things like that so whatever is easier for you as long as you know somewhat like okay i know how a penny looks like and a nickel looks like you should be good and even then at the beginning of the shifts especially usually the coins are in their little like round thing so it tells you like oh these are your quarters these are your pennies and vice versa using a register is really not hard and i've dropped a lot of tips and tricks if you're, like i said the nerves gotta go dress comfortable bring some water Make sure every item you scan and when you pay them for the total, make sure you put in how much they gave you, okay? Don't do the calculation in your head and then try to put, no. You put in immediately how much they gave you because the system already calculated how much the total is and now they're going to calculate the difference and then when you see that difference pop up on the screen, that is the change you give them. And that is how you basically work that till, okay, honey? There's nothing else. There's a lot more things that come into being a, a cashier, yes. But in terms of how to use a till, there's nothing else. That's how you use a till as a pro. That's just how you use a till in general. And that's how you use a till without any experience. You don't need any experience. What experience do you need? experience you get it from starting somewhere and you can start right now you can start right now as a cash as a cashier on a register even if you don't know how to use a till because i got you i'm here for y'all i've dropped so many videos helping y'all do this you guys got this and they're gonna train you at the end of the day however they want you to be working so at the end of the day like you guys are gonna be more than fine okay i promise you guys you're gonna be more than fine so with that being said that basically concludes today's video Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.